Corporate America has a whole other agenda. Their agenda is to minimize diversity, have everybody grow the same thing, have it be patented and leased to everybody so the farmers have to get it back every year, uh, get the same seed every year, and it's just like drug dealing. It is drug dealing. The way the world's controlled by a few people is by mental and emotional manipulation, by putting human beings into prisons of the mind and prisons of the emotions. There are those that believe that we originally had a 12-strand DNA. I'm one of those who believe that. What is happening? Something is going on. Can you feel the way? today because the FDA is holding a hearing on genetically engineered food and they are here to seek public input and we want to make sure they know that the public is very concerned about the safety of genetic engineering as it's been applied to agriculture and we want to see a change in FDA policy. If in some far distant future the incredibly unlikely event happens, they find some of this food safe, then they can market it, but then it has to be labeled to give us a choice. Once again, we're not going to label unsafe food. It needs to be taken off the markets right now. People may be aware of the monarch butterfly and, and corn link on genetic engineering. In the mid-1990s, it was big news, front page of the New York Times and probably most papers in the country, where researchers had discovered that corn pollen, which anybody who's watched who's seen corn, it's when the wind blows, the corn pollen blows, and it's it's like pollen, it's dusty and it's, it's everywhere. And that's how corn cross-pollinates. Uh, there's a lot of it. That corn pollen from a genetically engineered corn variety, and again, every single cell in that corn from root to stalk to corn to pollen is genetically engineered. And when, they're, when, re, when a scientist Monsanto has put Bt, a pesticide, in corn cells so that every cell expresses the pesticide to get rid of a, a worm that affects uh, most corn planted, and so every cell has that pesticide in it. And Bt is the name of the pesticide, Bacillus thuringiensis. And what its role is, is what it does is it gets into the guts of the worm and it messes up with the digestive system and it basically crunches it up and it kills them through messing with the digestive system. That's what that pesticide does. So the corn pollen drifted off the farm and onto milkweed and researchers set, set this up so they could try it out and they put milkweed pollen or corn pollen on milkweed. Uh, why milkweed? The monarch butterfly, the beautiful butterfly that you know, half the school children in the country watch emerge from the caterpillars as part of their science program. The monarch, that's, what, that's all they eat. When they travel from Mexico up to Dakota, they, that's what they stop on their way and feed off of is, is milkweed. And just a little of that, uh, that BT corn that Monsanto developed, a little bit of the pollen from that corn on the milkweed leaf eaten by a monarch butterfly kills the butterfly, eaten by the caterpillar of the monarch butterfly, D just gets into their gut and kills the, the monarch butterfly. And that was something that Monsanto had been holding up won't happen. They didn't even, in fact, they didn't even, rate, they didn't bring it up. The U.S. government did not test for this at all, and Monsanto didn't address what's called uh, g uh, genetic pollution, that it's drifting off uh, off-site and landing on plants in the wild and affecting the ecosystem beyond its intended targets the worm that eats corn. Uh, we're with uh, David Icke, uh, author, uh, extraordinary spokesperson. Uh, I don't really know how to describe him, really, to tell you the truth, but um, we are going to talk about his book, The Biggest Secret. The way the world's controlled by a few people is by mental and emotional manipulation, by putting human beings into prisons of the mind and prisons of the emotions. And the biggest prison that people live in, the greatest limitation on their infinite multidimensional 
genius uh, is the fear of what other people think. Once you get people in fear of what other people think, they cease to express their own uniqueness. They seem to li- cease to live their own lives and express what they are. And they live a version of what they think others think they should be. And <laughs> therefore, if you, can set the, if you can set the norm of what people expect others to be, then you basically create the blueprint, um, the mental and emotional prison, which <laughs> has most of the people of the world in it, if you, if you look at it. No matter what culture you're in around the world, um, you find people are overwhelmingly uh, performing, because that's what they're doing, performing every day and conforming to a blueprint which someone else has set of what is right, what is wrong, what is moral, what's immoral, what's possible, what's impossible, what's sane, what's insane. There are those that believe that we originally had a 12-strand DNA. I'm one of those who believe that. Uh, in fact, scientists have often called uh, the extra strands the junk DNA. Most of us uh, are aware of just the, two, the double helix, two-strand DNA. Well, if you consider that uh, in some way, and people have different theories on how the other ten were dismantled or, or became dormant or whatever it is that inactive, um, it, it led us to a point where we have not had access to all the information of what is going on, uh, what is going on in more than what we just see with our eyes or smell or taste or touch. I think that's the realm where we really begin to open up uh, the psychic abilities, the other senses that we may not even remember. But once that is activated, and I believe it's being activated as people do more healing and more, um, it's, it's like as we let go of more and more of the fear that's inside us, then who we really are shines forth. And that part of us connects with the part of us that activates or reactivates those other strands of DNA. And um, so when I heard about a woman from my home state who, was, um, who healed herself of terminal bone cancer by using, as she was told in her intuitive sense, to do a particular procedure in commanding the DNA to be uh, reactivated, the other strands of DNA to be reactivated, I, um, every cell of my body just went, yes, I knew this. I know this is what I'm, I'm headed for. This is what I'm... Uh, transforming into. Uh, 